another brand new release from eFlight is this Habu uh, S. Uh, I think it's called the STS actually, and this is it's a EDF trainer, or more accurately, it's a trainer that's an EDF. Now, a year ago, five years ago, if you would have told somebody that uh, you can tr learn to fly with an EDF, they would have laughed you off the flying field. But you know what? E-Flight has delivered a EDF that's designed to be a trainer. And while for me this doesn't have that much interest because I'm like, yeah, it's not really a warbird, it's not really a general aviation plane, it's, it's kind of a made-up thing. Um, and I've got all my, you know, a lot of my training has been done using high wing um, general aviation planes. There are a lot of people that come to our club, to our flying field and ask. And all they want to do is they want to fly the jet. They want to fly the EDS. They want to fly the go fast stuff. And um, you, normally you would discourage somebody from, from flying something like that to get started. Well, this is an opportunity for people who have no interest in flying a high wing trainer to learn how to fly. Um, an RC plane and something that gives them that thrill of speed and the thrill of a of an EDF. So I have the uh, the 4S1 loaded up here, so it'd be the faster of the two versions. And I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and and take off with it here. Let's go ahead. It does have safe, of course. Here we go. Well, I can definitely tell you that it gets into the air way uh, way quicker than the, uh, the F-16 did. The F-16 has a much more like what I consider a scale rollout where the uh, the Habu actually got up in the air much, much easier. And of course, this is, the, this is the 4S version, so no shortage of power. And we're flying it without uh, without safe. I am, I'm very curious, I'm gonna have my nephew come over and fly this one day. Uh, he's had a couple uh, flights um, with a uh, three channel Super Cub done remarkably well with it. He's flown in real flight a, quite a bit. And I think this is an airplane for a, uh, for a teenager that'd be the most interesting. You get that EDF uh, power and look, and it's not like a frumpy uh, old Piper Cub. Uh, so this is probably gonna be really popular with uh, the next generation of RC pilots. And man, I'll tell you what, this thing is so easy to fly. In, in some ways, it's almost boring to fly. It's that, it's that easy. Which, you know, for a trainer, that's exactly what you want. Um, I could imagine if you had one of these at the flying field, and this is, you know, your first couple times flying, you'd be sweating bullets. But I tell you what, it is not an, a scary plane to fly at all. It's well-mannered. It flies relatively slow. I mean, for an EDF, it flies really slow. Very, very well-mannered airplane. I mean, I could fly this thing like I fly my Cherokee, and you know, I could cruise around. Th this really is impressive. And honestly, what I should have in my hangar is something like this, so I can practice EDF flights, other than just my uh, UMX A10. Wow, I am shocked. So yeah, could could you actually learn on the Habu STS? Yeah, absolutely, you can. Um, if the real one flies like it does in the uh, in the sim, which from everything I have flown, it is very comparable uh, to my to the real planes. This is definitely an EDF trainer. There is no doubt about it. I will bring it around and let's do the high speed pass once, and then I'm going to switch it into safe, kind of see how that does. But I tell you, this is insane cruising around at 50% power with an incredibly stable airplane. There is no doubt that this this is this is an EDF that's suitable for as a trainer. How awesome is that? Power up. Full power. Boy, that's quick. There's no doubt about that. That's not a slouch by any means. So yeah, it's got a wide range of um, it's got a pretty wide envelope here where you can cruise around 50%, really learn how to fly an airplane. It's very well mannered, extremely stable for an EDF. I mean, it's a sleek looking airplane. It flies way more stable than the shape would ever appear that it should. And yeah, like I said before, for people who look at a high wing trainer as, you know, kind of a boring airplane that's too frumpy to have, you know, for them to spend money on. The Habu is exactly the type of plane that will interest them.
Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, put it into uh, safe mode here. Here we go. You can see it uh, kind of reacted as soon as it hit safe. So let's go ahead and uh, bring it around. So I got full, full aileron, and you can see it, it just very limited amount of bank. 50% power. We'll pull back all the way up on the stick. See if I can get it to stall. Yeah, look at that. No tendency to stall whatsoever. This isn't this is incredible. I cannot believe how stable and easy to fly this airplane is. There's no doubt with safe, a a student pilot could completely fly this thing. I uh, still recommend a buddy box, of course. But um, let's go one. Let's go to intermediate mode. But I tell you what, I this this really could be the next generation uh, trainer. And I think there's going to be a lot of RC pilots who are going to want to learn on something like this rather than um, you know something that looks like a Piper Cub, which is my preference. I love Piper Cubs, but man, this thing is really impressive. Yeah, it's got the uh, auto leveling. I don't know if, uh, let's try panic mode. Let's see if I can stall the airplane out, shall we? Okay, let's uh, hit panic mode. Oh, look at that. So yeah, so that's interesting. So panic mode um, does work in the sim. So as you can see, I stalled the airplane and dropped the nose, hit the panic button, and, and it uh, quickly um, recovered the airplane. So let's go ahead and uh, just bring it in for a landing. Hey, of all the planes I've flown in real flight, this might be one of the most impressive, and I think it's impressive from the standpoint of uh, I'm flying an EDF that is very easy to fly, and it really can be a trainer. And I am just absolutely, <laughs> I'm just shocked. Let's see how well it lands, shall we? Bring the power down, float it in. Wow. It is, <laughs> I cannot believe how floaty this airplane is. I mean, really, um, I was off the power a while ago and I expected this thing to kind of drop as a rock and it did, it did not. So this is, this is a very impressive airplane. So yeah, the Habu SDS, it's a relatively brand new release from, uh, from E-Flight. It's in real flight 9.5 and it is a trainer that happens to be EDF. So this one I think is gonna be extremely popular with, um, with new pilots who are just not into um, general aviation high wing trainers. So awesome job, E Flight. Thanks, Real Flight, for putting this in here. I cannot wait to get my nephew over here and get him some time on the uh, sticks on this thing. I think he is going to absolutely love a plane like this.